The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, so the NBA reacts to this huge Oklahoma City, Indiana Pacers deal where we seen Paul George get moved to the Oklahoma City for Victor Oladipo. And let's read off a few of these reactions and see what the NBA guys think about this incredibly disgusting deal. Then I think I'll even react because I get pissed every time I think about this deal. Dwayne Wade said, okay, okay, see. All right, D-Wade, what you want that buyout to Oklahoma City now? Um, let's see what other people are saying. Who we got? Rudy Gay, he sent the emoji eyes. For those who don't know, Rudy Gay is considering the Oklahoma City Thunder. Rudy Gay got a lot of offers. San Antonio just offered him a really good deal. CJ, CJ McCollum is put out LOL. Paul George in Portland would be incredible. Why are people not considering Portland in free agency? They should be trying to make cap room. Lou Williams said the West about to have some big all-star snubs. I might get to that in a second. Hold on to that thought from Lou Williams. All right, can we just fuse the East and the West? It's getting too unbalanced by Rudy Gobert. Let, let's hold that thought, Rudy Gobert. I'm with you, my brother. I, I got some opinions on that. The playoff spots are opening up. Joel and B laughing. He like, shit, I'm in the Eastern Conference. I'm good. Miles Turner said takes a well-deserved nap for three hours and he opens Twitter and, and he lost one of, well, his best teammate he had, the best player on his Indiana Pacers team. Shout out to Miles Turner, though. A really great, dope, young talent. Joel and B's happy as hell. He's like, damn, we got, we, we already an up and coming team. We already getting talent. And now y'all mess around and trade uh, another guy out of the Eastern Conference. For those who don't know, the Western Conference has all the starters, all the NBA All-Stars pretty much outside of anybody named on Cleveland reside on the West. So I, I, I pulled up this thing I seen on Twitter and it brings up a good point. There's only 12 spots on the All-Star team. So three of these guys won't be in the All-Star game next year. Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Klay Thompson, Draymond Green, Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, Chris Paul, Westbrook, Paul George, Marcus Gasol, Jimmy Butler, Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins, and Damian Lillard. Three of those guys. Incredible talent. And I'm even not even talking about a couple other guys like the Rudy Gobert's of the world or who knows where Gordon Hayward ends up, but it'll probably be an Eastern Conference team. What if he goes back to Utah? You know what I mean? Like, there's so much going on right now with the West that the East has been shaved of everything. There's really no talent on the East anymore. I, they have everything in the Western Conference. Um, here's the thing. Steph Curry and Kevin Durant are making an all-star game, barring any injury. Kawhi Leonard and James Harden are going to be in the all-star game. Westbrook's going to be in the all-star game. After that, I, I don't know. I, if, the, if the Grizzlies are in the playoffs, you would have to believe they get one guy. If the Minnesota Timberwolves are in the playoffs picture, by the time all-star weekend hits, they're going to get at least one, maybe two, probably Carl Anthony Towns and Jimmy Butler. Damn, that's another Wiggins. Another year Wiggins can't make the team. You would think if Portland's in the all-star picture, they get one guy. Maybe they're not in the playoff picture. I think the Pelicans will only get one guy between Anthony Davis and DeMarcus Cousins. Somebody's going to get snubbed there. So, yes, there's a lot going on. And back to this dumb-ass trade that the freaking Indiana Pacers made for Paul George. This is stupid. You could have got a lot more other places. What were you thinking? It pisses me off every time I think about it because you could have really put Paul George on a damn contender and got more. Sheesh, I know it ain't y'all. It feels like they were trying to torture Paul George. That's what it feels like. They were trying to make Paul George suffer for leaving their team. That's what it feels like they were trying to do. It's like they're trying to, instead of trading you to a Cleveland Cavalier team so you can compete or trading you to the Lakers where you want to be or trading you to Boston, they traded him to a team where they know that they know he's not going to compete for a championship, and they trade him with a guy that's tough to play with. But with that being said, you still lost in the trade because you could have got more pieces, Indiana. You 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 you, you might have penalized Paul George, but you penalized yourself going forward, idiots. Oh my goodness, get me out of here. I'm out. I'm done with this. I'm out. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at